Bethel, Utah, on the intersection of Highway 133, the main intersect, the main highway that goes through town, and 4400 South. And we got some more content here for EBT to shill for big fence post. See how much of this post has is, is been chewed out and the fine line between burn and unburn? Go over here to this post. What caught fire here? The cement? The rocks? The wire, and how did it not burn this part and charcoal this part? So, I think James True made a video today might even be a direct response to seeing this Here's another good spot how did one little spot like that burn without anything around it burning this video he made called Ooh, emotional pedophilia might be a direct response or a explanation that uh, EBT and chalk body outline really don't see it. And that's harder for me to wrap my mind around. See how deep this indentation goes? It's not picking it up very well. But the charcoal in the middle, surrounded by unburned wood, while they can only see burnt sticks and twigs, it's harder for me to imagine that than the idea that they're shilling for big fence post or they're agents of some sort of institution. And James even said that. He's like, well, if you want to think it's all being orchestrated by some organization, if that's where you still are, go ahead and keep thinking that. But maybe they're just not developed. And that's how this is a separation on the consciousness farm between those who are developed enough to see it and those who are not. Because it's real hard for me to try to fathom that after all the videos that I compiled and gave them, they still can see nothing but regular fire, and it's just nothing out of the ordinary. It's hard for me to imagine that they really don't see it. There's a good shot of how that's chewed out, completely charcoaled, and a fine line between burn and unburn. It's harder for me to imagine that they cannot see it than the idea that they're intentionally pretending not to see it. But maybe I should consider the idea that maybe they really don't see it. And this points towards James True's theory about the Eye of Ra, how the amygdala regulates the dopamine and the melanin and controls what you can and cannot see based on how much it's going to freak you out. And it says, no, 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 that's going to freak him out way too bad. Don't even let him see that. Just show him burnt twigs and sticks. So you want to keep shilling for big fence posts, that's your choice, man. What is it that burned this one? And I'm sure there's more on down the line, but I ain't got time to keep trying to show people that don't want to see, no matter how much evidence you put in front of them, they'll see what they want to see and not see anything but what they want to see. And if they're being shown something they can't handle, the mind has a coping mechanism that automatically disables them from being able to see it. And so they block it out and they say, all I see is burnt sticks and twigs. And that little part in the middle that turned to charcoal, uh, it must have been one of the embers blowing in the wind. Yeah, and they'll tell themselves whatever they gotta tell themselves 
to maintain their ability to only see what they're capable of processing. And that's what James is referring to when he says emotional uh, pedophilia. You, you, think you're dealing, you think we're all the same, and that's the basis upon which I cannot comprehend that they wouldn't be able to see this, is the assumption that we're all the same. Maybe they are underdeveloped to the point where they cannot process this. This is an activity that we're participating in that they are not developed enough to participate in. So they compartmentalize it because it traumatizes them, etc. Maybe we're not the same. 